Hello, it's Steve. Um, man with the blurriest camera in the world. Uh, of, uh, a little while ago, I made a video about um, just trying to sort out my well turn my point in trail, old point in trail into a spearhead, which I've done there. Um, a little while after I did it, a gent called R Pretty got in touch with me. Um, I think his name was a nice, nice guy. Left me a message saying uh, try sticking a few holes in it. So I drilled. I can't really see without the light, but four sort of six mil holes. You can see. Uh, one there, one there, and there's just a couple more underneath there that I've sort of lashed it up with that size or twine as well. Um, so there you go. Uh, that's it attached to the um, the what's the name? The, the sort of spear shaft. Well, <laughs> it's not really attached to a spear shaft. It's uh, it's more like a sort of um, well. I think what I've done really is turned a builder's trail back into a builder's trail. To be honest with you, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a kind of rudimentary knife. I mean, hopefully you're getting the point of all this sort of straight six thing. Is you kind of well, you, you don't you don't need a car upgrade. You don't. What you need is a six things. You know, there's needs a, a bit of a, a word that's bandied about a bit um, uh, uh, these days. I think, to be honest with you, I mean, I don't need this garage full of junk. To be honest with you, I'm you know I'm as guilty as everybody for having too much stuff. But you know, if you can make do and and all this kind of thing, then fine. But what I'm going to do is just I'll try and test it, see if we can. Because uh, what I'm going to do with this, obviously, is turn it into a spear point and. Uh, because I've only had a little bit of stick and I've got that, I'll just test it out and see if it works as a bush knife. But um, so what we're going to do is just try battening uh, this with it and just see how that goes. Problem being, first of all, straight off, you've only got about two inches of knife blade there that's usable for battening, so you can't ever do anything that's thicker than that really, and that's going to be quite hard, I should think, uh, something about an inch or so, inch and a half thick like that. But we'll give it a go anyway. Um, also, maybe to give it a go, point in, see if we can get any off there uh, as well. But yeah, let's give it a go. Um, the other problem with this as well, I'll, uh, yeah. What happens is because it, there you go, it got through it, but because it's two-sided. Um, there you go, it's knocking it back into place again. Because it's two-sided, uh, what happens is um, every single time you hit it, you're losing power because uh, your, um, your double edge is taking some of the power out of there because you're actually cutting into your baton rather than into your wood. But yeah, it worked on that. So, uh, I mean, yeah, keeping an edge on that. Again, not great and you can't get a lot of pressure behind it either is a bit of a problem but yeah cuts wood so you know it does work that said <laughs> that said it's a spear point it won't stick in which is good um i mean obviously normal bush knife i like that as well that was made by a guy called oh, gary mills his name is uh what that about five years ago or so so it's one of the first ones he made a long while ago it was five, it was five years ago but i mean as you can see, I mean, something that's actually designed for the purpose sort of tears straight through that. So, um, big difference and uh, not ideal, but there you go. I think probably, I mean, oh, you know, usable as a throwing knife, not that you'd ever want to hunt with a throwing knife, but uh, you know, for mucking about in the woods, um, yeah, I think I'll try strapping that up to a spear at some point soon. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.